like crazy outside, so I'm gonna wait a minute uh, before I push the Corvette out and bring the Equinox in. I hate leaving the vet sitting out in the rain, so hopefully it'll slow up here in a minute, and then I'll get to putting the bottom end together. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and put this whole oil pump set up together. So I bought the new oil pump kit, which comes with the new cover here. You get the uh, pump gears set up here. And uh, you also get the new spring and piston and the, that little pipe plug and a washer that goes with it. Uh, also the gasket kit that comes uh, for this will include the front seal that we need. Uh, I'm gonna put that in probably first. And then also includes this water pump cover. And all that is, that's this here. If you're wondering what this even is, if you take these four bolts out, you can access the water pump. You can take the three bolts out. That will allow you to remove the water pump pump from the back of the engine without having to take this all apart and pull, you know, pull the gear and everything out. That's assuming that you're gonna use the original gear uh, for the water pump and you're not gonna change that. So anyway, that's what that's for. So go ahead and get all this put together. So let's see. So this gear on the back here, you can see there's kind of an indent, but on the other side, it's perfectly smooth. So the indent is gonna go down towards the cover. You can see there's a, there's a tiny groove, not even a groove, but kind of a lip around the inside here. And so that's where this gear is gonna set in. And that's kind of what, what centers it. And then we can put the other one on. Put a little, put a little oil on this. Where is my oil? My oil disappeared. I don't know where it went. Would anybody be disappointed if I just used transmission fluid? Let's just do that. Somebody's gonna be like, what? You can't do that. Watch me. I just did. It'll be fine, I promise you. A little transmission fluid never hurt anybody. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. I can't find my oil, so. I had another oil can somewhere around here with regular oil. I don't yet know what the torque spec is on these little, these little doodads. So I'm gonna have to find that out. Alrighty, so these are, assuming you get the same ones as I have. I can't see the number on there, so I don't know what size this is. Oh well, you'll have to figure it out. Okay, so I got all those in there. So now I'll go ahead and put the seal in and put this uh, gasket on here. All right, I'm gonna put the this crank seal in. So I'm gonna put a little back to my transmission fluid here. Put a little around the outside of the seal because you don't want it to. You don't want it to catch as it's going in. So. Also, you want the inner side of the seal towards the inside of the engine. So basically the side where you can see the spring towards the inside of the engine. So we'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna put this large socket on here because it fits fairly well. Put this plate over that. for that. So I'll go ahead and put the piston and spring in here. Piston down in there, put the spring in. And then we got that little washer and the uh, and the bolt here. 
Again, I'm back to my little transmission fluid on it. Get that put in there. You know, if you have motor oil, just use that. You don't have to use transmission fluid. I'm just using transmission fluid because I'm lazy and I don't feel like going and finding motor oil. There we go. That is 10 millimeter. Okay, that's it for that. Now I gotta get the car back in here. Mm -hmm.